Hi everyone and welcome to another day in the Wintercutting Workshop. Today I'm going to work on these PET funnels. A while back I cut these marble shields from green bottle material. The color is awful. However, we have from Elliot at NewsX on Discord, we have laser cut funnels which are transparent, which will also have a better cut quality. <laughs> we have some Wilsons. Oh nice, super nice cut quality. Oh yeah, these are great. 500. And Elliot also wrote, maybe you can stack the parts. Actually, yeah, that's a great idea. 0 0.3 of the flimsy one, and then the sturdy one, 0 0.48. So now I'm going to take these off and replace them with Elliot's part. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to show a little bit how I made this design in the first place and also how Elliot laser cut the new parts. I've had this issue with the marbles missing the funnels on the Marble Machine X ending up on the floor. And I fixed that with this funnel. I made it larger with painter's tape. It works great, but it looks awful. And I'm going to try to use PET bottle material. So real DIY feeling today. Step one is done. We have our flat pattern. Now I'm gonna scan this and put it into CAD and see if we can clean this up and make something really nice. Make this looks a little bit more like a real part and just not something I took from a PET bottle. <laughs> Et voila, look at that. So what I really want to change in this funnel design is that I want this line to be unbroken. Here you can see this goes off in another angle. I want this angle to continue up like this. So this was the previous part, generation three. And as you can see, generation four is much larger. This is the new one. You can see how much bigger it is. You can see this angle I was talking about. Whoop, and then whew. And with the new one, this line is followed here. I decided to do two small versions for the snare and the hi-hat and one large version for the kick drum. The green plastic and the cut quality is not okay. So I want to ask if someone wants to help me laser cut nice versions of these shields. So hello everyone, uh, this is Elliot and I'm here to, to make a little video about the final extensions for Wintergarten. I've been tasked uh, to, with actually making those out of clear plastic. So I'm going to do this with the laser because doing it by hand with PET water bottles um, turns out it's not that effective. Well, it, it is effective, but it's fairly hard work and, and it might not look as good at, as if it was done with the laser that doesn't chip away at the plastic like a CNC would or a hand cutter. So I got the first funnel finished and I love how this looks. So you can clearly see the fraying here from the CNC machine and how clean it looks in Elliot's laser cut. And I also love the brownish tint, which looks like rusted plastic. That's kind of perfect. It, it feels much more organic than if it would be completely see-through. And most important of all, this is super flimsy. And it was a great idea from Elliot to stack the most thick layers. So no marbles will escape here. Another tweak I did is that on this, I used cardboard band to stop the funnels from opening. And here I just used some metal wire. In the last video, I talked about going after artistic flair that kills the mechanical functionality. And the opening of the funnels is one of those things that I'm going to sacrifice for now. So when, when this is off, the funnels can open like this. And I miss that movement a lot. It looked super nice on the machine, but I also miss making music. <laughs> so I have to, for now, keep the funnels shut. Until we have one million marble tests successful, I will not open this Pandora's box again. So this funnel is ready. Now I'm going to just make the other two as well, and then mount them on the machine. This is the color before and after. As you can see, it fits in with the color scheme with this little yellowish of the drum and the bass and the wood. 
It looks really natural, the little rust. I don't know how it looks for you, but in the room, I'm really happy with this. So let's now take this combo of the new funnel together with the new clock escapement gate to the test. I'm going to make a 1200 marble test. We're gonna play 60 marbles per minute. So I need to play 20 minutes to reach the 1200 marble mark. No marbles on the floor. Let's see how we do this. Start. Eighteen hundred marbles, clean floor, very very nice. I'm very very happy with this. So now I hope to be able to forget the funnels for some time and keep on working on other exciting stuff. Elliot, your parts are awesome. Fit perfectly into the Mar Machine X. Good idea to double the shields. Everything feels as good as an afterthought can feel. It's Thursday again, International Bike Day, and I found something. Check this out. We're only 279 kilometers from the landing place of Starship number 10. How cool is that? Half an hour bike ride, my speed. Winding stairs, they're there. I think I'm showing you footage from these bike rides of the same reason that people showed the footage of their dogs, you know? I'm so happy about them. So. If you're feeling down for some reason, try to go on a bike ride once per week. Uh, for me, it's made such a difference and gives me the energy to finish this monster project. Thank you everyone for following the project and next week is going to be very exciting. So see you then, have a wonderful weekend, bye.